Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about man field on an axis of a circular loop. Okay, so we are considered as a point on the axis of a circular loop. Okay, this is to be the center of this point P is to be x distant from it and the radius of the circular loop is R. Current is to be going like this. I need to find out what is the man field produced by this circular loop at this point A. Okay, this we are find out by using Biot's award law. What is Biot's award law? Man field due to a small current element that is R distance from the R distance from the current element is we'll get dB is equal to mu zero divided by four pi I dl I dl sin theta divided by R square. Okay. What is how we will find out the dB direction? The dB direction can be find out by using right hand rule. Okay, so this principle I am applying here and I am find out the man field at the point P. So I am going to consider the small portion that is small portion that is DL. This is a DL and the direction is like this. So I am going to find out what is the man field produced by this DL at this point P. This is R distance from it. What is R? This is a right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. For this, this is a hypotenuse. So this is R square plus X square. Okay. The man field at the point P due to this DL is DB is equal to mu zero divided by four pi I DL. What about the sine angle? You see here, here the DL is in which direction? Like this, and the R is to be like this. Okay, what about this angle? This angle is to be 90. So here it is to be 90. Divided by this distance, that is R square. Okay, what is this R value? R value is square root of R square plus X square all power all square. Clear? Okay, this is the thing. So what do you get this? Mu 0 divided by 4 pi I DL sine 90 value 1 divided by r square plus x square you get square root and square is to be cancelled. Now I will find out the direction of the dv. Okay. If the dl is to be like this, dl is in like this, I will place my right hand in this direction of dl and go towards the direction of r. So what I will get? I will get the dv is like this. Okay. So what about the dv direction? dv is to be like this. Okay, clear? This is the dB direction. This all we can find out like this also. Okay, this is the DL direction. This is our direction. This is the dB direction. So I place my thumb in the direction of DL. R is like this. So then also I get the dB direction is like this. Okay, this is to be perpendicular. Clear? Okay. Then, now I will consider another dl that is to be symmetrically opposite to this dl in the opposite direction so here the current is to be like this okay clear this dl is to be how much distance that is also the r distance what about that r value that r value is x square plus r square value what about that dB? That dB also equal to mu zero divided by four pi I dL sine ninety because there also you get the dL is to be like this and R is to be like this. The angle you can see this angle. This angle is ninety sine ninety divided by R square plus X square all square you get. So dB you will get the same here also. Okay, so two dB is to be same. What about the direction? You will get the direction is to be like this. Okay, clear? Okay. Now I am going to split this dB. This is a one component, this is a another component. Okay? If I plus split this dB, I'll get one component here and another component here. Okay? Then 
So I am assuming this is to be theta. If this is theta, what about this angle? This, this is the angle between these two lines. These two are the perpendicular. For this line, this is the perpendicular. For this line, this is the perpendicular. So this will also theta. If this is theta, what about this angle? This total is 90. So this is 90 minus theta. Okay. The similar way here. I am going to assume this is to be theta because this and this is to be symmetrical angle. So this is to be theta. If this is theta, for this line this is a perpendicular. For this line this is a perpendicular. So this is also theta. Okay, clear? Then if this is theta, this is to be 90 minus theta. Because this total is to be 90. Okay, clear? So what about this component? What about this component? This is db cos 90 minus theta and this is db sin 90 minus theta. Okay? Clear? This is what about this? This is db cos 90 minus theta and this is db sin 90 minus theta. This sin 90 minus theta and this sin 90 minus theta cancel. Then what is only remaining? Only the cosine component is to be remaining. Similar to all other components. If I will take it as a one DL here, there will be another symmetrically or cosine DL will be there. So always this perpendicular component will be cancelled. That is only the horizontal component is to be remaining. So the net nine field is to be in this direction. This if you will consider this is to be in which plane? This is to be in yz plane. If the circular loop is in yz plane, the mind field is in this direction. This is the net mind field is to be in x direction. Okay. Then now we will see what is that d. Okay. So net mind field is equal to what? Integration of this db cos 90 minus theta. Okay. Here that is equal to integration of what about db value? db value is this, that is mu 0 divided by 4 pi i dl r square plus x square into cos 90 minus theta, that is sin theta. That. Okay, then now we will see what about this sin theta value. From this triangle we will get that sin theta. Sin theta is r divided by r square plus x square. So I am going to apply b is equal to the cons, okay, mu 0 divided by 4 pi i dl divided by r square plus x square into sin theta. What about the sin theta? r divided by r square plus x square, r square plus x square or power 1 by 2, okay, or power 1 by 2, clear, okay, then. Here the constant you can take it out say that is mu 0 divided by 4 pi i is a constant r is a constant divided by r square plus x square all power 3 pi into integration of dl. What about the integration of dl? You take the total add and all the dl. So you will get the circumference of the circle. So what you get? So now you will get this that is to be b is equal to mu 0 divided by 4 pi i r divided by r square plus x square all power 3 pi 2 into 2 pi r. This 2 pi and 4 pi cancel so 2 is remaining r into r r square. So mu 0 i by 2 r square divided by r square plus x square all power 3 pi 2. This is the net nine field and it is acting in which direction? If the direction is to be in the i direction. Clear? This is the magnetic field at a point P on the x. Clear? Next we will take the two special cases. Two special cases we will discuss. So first case, case one. If the point P is at the center, that means P is at center. 
If the P is at center, what about the X value? This X is to be 0. If the X is to be 0, what about this B? B is equal to mu 0, I by 2, R square divided by R square plus 0 square all power 3 by 2. So what do you get? Mu 0, I by 2, R square divided by, this is R square all power 3 by 2. So this R square all power 3 by 2 become R cube. So that R cube is cancelled with R square. That is, what you get, this is R cube you will get and this is cancelled. So what you get, mu 0 i by 2, 2 divided by r, direction is i. Okay, this is the man field that we sent. Okay, next we will discuss the another special case that is the case 2 we will discuss. That is the case 2, so here I will write the case 2. K2 means x is very very larger. If the x is to be very very larger than r, what about this? This become x square. That is b is equal to mu zero i by two r square divided by what do you get? This is x square all power three by two. That is what you will get. That is x cube you will get. That is in the i direction. So b is inversely proportional to x cube. If x is approaches to infinity, what about b value? b is approaches to 0. Okay? So, based on this, we can draw the graph. Okay? We can draw the graph. So, this is the thing. Magnet field is acting in this direction. This is the x distance. This is to be minus x. Okay, clear. So, what is the maximum? That is to be at the center. This is the thing. Then, next inverse is proportion to x, and it is x is approaches to infinity, the b is approaches to 0. So, you get the graph is to be like this. Here also it will be like, like this. Okay, this is the variation of magnet field with the distance. Okay. Now, what about here we got in us? Here the current direction is like this. The current direction is like this. So we got the magnetic field is to be acting in which direction? The magnetic field is to be acting in this direction. Sorry, this is the point P. The magnetic field is acting like this. If I will take it as the current direction is opposite, that means initially we will take the like this direction. If I will take like this, okay, if I will take like this, what about the magnetic field? Okay, the magnetic field you will get like this direction. This is the magnetic field direction. Clear? Okay, then. Next, how we will find out the direction of the magnetic field? Produced by a current carrier supply. That can be found out by using right hand thumb row. Okay, how we will apply? You will see. This is the thing, this is the supply law. In this, the current is to be going like this. Okay, how the man field direction? Okay, so man field direction is found out by using right hand thumb row. Okay, so go in that, call your Right hand palm in the direction of current, in the direction of current, curl the palm in the direction of current like this, and the thumb gives the magnetic field direction, so you will get the upward direction. Okay, this is the magnetic field direction, clear? Like this, like this, and like this. Here, like this, like this, like this. Okay, clear? If the magnetic field, if the current is to be like this, that means in the opposite direction. Okay, this is the current direction. If the current direction is like this, what about the magnetic field? Magnetic field can be magnetic field can be produced by right hand thumb rule. How will you apply the right hand thumb rule? Curl your palm in the direction of current like this. You are curl and the thumb gives the magnetic field direction. So curl the palm like this and the current magnetic field is to be downward. So this is the magnetic field direction. So here like this, here like this, here like this, and here like this. Okay? This is the way 
we can explain the magnetic field produced by a kinetic area circle of loop okay